Hey, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect and welcome to this tutorial about adding dimension lines in Blender. Do you know that we have many different ways to add dimension lines in Blender? We have a default tool here in Blender that can add some really, really basic uh, dimension lines and we can uh, use another resource, which is an external add-on that will create true dimension lines uh, in Blender. Let me show you the difference and how to install this uh, add-on. To create a uh, really basic uh, dimension lines, you can use this tool here, the measure tool. And if you have your snapping enabled, you will be able to grab points and draw a dimension line. It's not really a dimension line because it will not align with the object. And uh, one of the really uh, big downsides of this uh, type of measurement is that if you deselect the tool, your dimensions will disappear. So it's not really that much useful uh, for anything other than uh, quick verifications of dimensions. Now, there is one add-on, a free add-on. It's quite old and uh, we don't uh, hear a lot about uh, that add-on anymore, but it still works with Blender 4.2 which is the measure it arc. Let me show you how to download this add-on and uh, what is the current state of the development for the measure it arc. This is the website where you can get measure it arc. And uh, as you can see, it's straight from GitHub, straight from the source. And I was making a presentation about Blender 4 architecture uh, a few weeks ago and Measure It Arc with, uh, was part of that presentation. And one architect in the audience uh, asked me, well, in here it says that it's for Blender 2.8. Does it still work with Blender 4.2? Yes. One of the best ways to verify if something is uh, being uh, updated is to see the latest commits uh, for our for some of the files you can see it here for, for instance this file was updated uh, with uh, changes five days ago this one here as well five days ago so it means someone it's uh, actively uh, updating and committing new uh, changes or new features uh, fixing bugs for this add-on so it still works how to download it. Uh, we don't have any download buttons here. The easiest way to download anything from uh, GitHub is to see if it has any uh, releases. And if we just get a forward slash releases here, you will see that they didn't uh, made any recent releases. The latest one was in February of 2021. But fear not, this is for Blender 3.0. Uh, to get the latest version, you can use this button here and get the zip. It will grab everything from, uh, from, this, uh, from this folder. So choose this zip here and save the zip file on your, on your computer anywhere you want. Back in Blender, it's time to install the measure it arc. And how can we install an add-on from a zip file? You can come here under edit preferences and uh, you'll be using this button here on the add-ons tab. Use this button called install from disk. Now you might be asking yourself, can we install or can we get the measure it arc from the official repository? Unfortunately, uh, no, there is no option. Uh, it's not part of the official repository. If you make, if you search here for measure it, you will see this measure it option. Uh, notice that it doesn't have the arc at the end. It's because this is the original option, the original add-on uh, that the guys that created the measure it arc forked this code to create that add-on it has a uh, it is a great add-on but it's much simpler than the measure it arc and uh, if you're not familiar with uh, what fork means it's when someone gets the source code from another project and create a new uh, a new software or a new script something new uh, it's perfectly fine in open source software as long as you respect the licenses now to install the measure it arc i'll be using this button install from disk and this is the file that i got from uh, github let's hit the install button and it will install the measure it arc make sure you are you enable the add-on and you will see a new tab here 
on your uh, right side, on your sidebar. Press this button, show, and it you can start adding uh, dimension lines. One thing that you have to keep in mind uh, before adding dimension lines here uh, with the measure it arc is that you need to choose a plane to create your dimension lines, to place it uh, on a plane. It will be either the XY, the YZ, or the XZ plane. In my case, since I'm in top view, I want my dimensions uh, to appear on the XY plane. Now, how can we add some dimensions here? If I go into edit mode, select two vertices and press this button to create an aligned dimension, it will create one dimension and I will be able to create more dimensions here by selecting two vertices and it will add the dimensions. And uh, how can we edit the properties? Or uh, for instance, I need to change the location of this dimension to place it here at the top because it's uh, making an intersection with this uh, other dimension. Uh, when you add this, or when you install the measure it arc, it will include lots and lots of features, resources for you to change your dimensions on your object tab on the properties editor. And here I'll be having a, a list with all of my dimensions. You can see that I can select each one of them here. You can remove them from your project and it will use many of the features or some of the features that we find in CAD tools like uh, styles for your dimensions. And I'm using a simple style and you can change some of the settings for your uh, dimensions. For instance, I want to edit this dimension, which is dimension two and I will be tweaking my distance. Let's place it here. Use this tweak distance and you can move the dimension to the upside. This was a quick tutorial just to give you an overview on uh, how to uh, install and start using uh, the measure it arc for uh, architecture. It's an incredible resource. If you want to do uh, 2D uh, designs here in Blender, it's an incredible uh, resource. Uh, in the future, I'll be making more tutorials about the measure it arc. If you find this tutorial, if you found this, uh, if you find this tutorial useful, if you think it might help other people using Blender, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of the future of my future tutorials. Uh, see you next time. Bye.